All right, coming up next, it's a UFC Women's Bantamweight Championship fight between Ketlin Vieta and Amanda Nunes. expectations for this matchup between a true grappler and a fighter on the other side that has every tool in the box. She has every tool. She's one of the most well-rounded fighters in the entire UFC. She understands that her opponent will try to get her to the ground, but she's so well-versed in all the Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to chase the finish. been good tonight, but she missed with that. Man, her striking looks clean tonight. Timing on point. Her timing's on point. Her accuracy's on point. She's very busy. She's in a good flow. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Nunes gets the takedown. Let's see how she chooses to proceed from here. Well, she was long on grappling experience coming into the UFC, and you see her chops here. Just beautiful when it comes to the transition. It's very difficult to keep up with her on the ground. Back to the feet now. All right, so will the elbows and knees soon follow? The first step is the tie clinch. She has a huge connection by her there. Massive shot lands. How's she going to try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Oh! and landing some nasty strikes. Oh, oh, big knee there. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Oh, she landed a big knee to the body. That one landed clean. Vicious combo there. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO. With that nice take down lane. Half guard position for her here, and if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You've got to make sure you're on an elbow control and underhook and get back to your feet. Does she throw these hands seamlessly and easily connects with another series of punches there? She is one of the best boxers in the UFC, and this is the reason why we say it every time she fights. Well, she missed with that right hand. Nice play. She's thrown tonight. Her opponent's a beautiful placement on that hook. What a great job of fighting such a massive shot. Round two coming up next. All right, she is all smiles as she makes her way back to the stool. DC, a lot of good action there in the previous round, particularly that head kick knockdown. Talk us through it. She's a really good striker. She does everything so technically on her feet. So you knew. When you were watching her land so many strikes low, eventually she would go high, and she did, and got that big knockdown. That you ready? You ready? Let's Round go. two here. A little cut below that left eye. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Splits the guard and connects there. Oh. She's walking now. She's hurt very bad. She's on skate. She has to get moving. If she stays in front of her opponent, she's going to take one more. That's going to end the night. Strong bottom work here. Staying busy. Back to the feet now. So 50 total strikes have landed for the Brazilian Kevin VA. And above 50% too when it comes to the connection rate, landing with 51% accuracy against Amanda Nunes. Back 
to her feet now. Good sign for her there. Well-placed kick there by Nunes. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Oh, big head kick land. Well, she... I think she... All right, so she's able to work her way back to her feet now. Whoa! Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big grounding bomb. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Nunes. Back to the feet now. Beautiful kick. All right, so... Oh! Just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground exchanges, and she's doing a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot at the top. Throws the punch there and connects. Nice job by her there. Nice job. Nice job. Wow. Was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate. And ultimately, it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight.